I'm so excited to be doing yoga with you today. And whenever we start yoga, a lot of times we say om, which just means if we took every sound in the universe and mixed it all up, that's the sound that would rise up. So let's do our little om song before we get started. Here we go. Rub your hands, sit up tall, take a deep breath, om. All right, let's rub our feet. Gotta lean back, use those belly muscles. Rub your feet, sit up tall, take a deep breath, Oh. All right, we're gonna put those two together. Rub your hands and your feet. Sit up tall, take a deep breath. Oh, good job. So in yoga, we're always talking about taking a deep breath because it makes our minds feel good, it makes our bodies feel good. And when we get upset, when we take a deep breath, we feel better, whether you're frustrated or sad or mad or I have like this emoji guy, you look like that, like you're angry. If you can stop and breathe into your nose like you're smelling something and then breathe out your mouth like you're blowing out your candles on your birthday or bubbles, you're gonna feel better. So let's use my breath ball today and let's take a few breaths in together. So this breath ball expands just like your ribs do when you breathe, right? We, we inhale, our ribs get big and then we we exhale and it gets smaller. So we're gonna do two breaths together. All right, get ready, like we're smelling something delicious. Here we go, big breath in. And blow it out. Good, let's do it one more time. Big breath in. And blow it out. Nice breath, you guys. Remember, that's something that is always there and that you can do. All right, we're gonna do a quick little song to get started to warm up our body. So we're gonna stand up. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's take a breath here, right? Take a big breath in and out. And we can shake everything out. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna sing a song. You know this song most likely and just follow along with me. Okay, here we go. Let's get balanced on one foot. If you're happy and you know it, be a tree. If you're happy and you know it, be a tree. If you're happy and you know it and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, be a tree. All right, we're gonna do a little more balancing. Put your arms out like you have wings. We're gonna lift up on one foot. If you have wings and you know it, be a plane. If you have wings and you know it, be a plane. If you have wings and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you have wings and you know it, be a plane. All right, I'm gonna squat down for frog jumps. Now when we jump like frogs, I shouldn't hear your feet. It's like really quiet jumps. That means you're controlling your body. So here we go. If you're happy and you know it, be a frog. Ribbit. If you're happy and you know it, be a frog. Ribbit. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, be a frog. One more jump together. Good. That gets our heart rates going too. Okay, this is the next one. I'm going to go to the side here. Show me your snappers. We're going to do crab boats. If you're snappy and you know it, be a crab. Feet down, belly up. If you're snappy and you know it, be a crab. If you're snappy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're snappy and you know it, be a crab. Now crabs walk side to side, so let's walk side to side together. Can you walk to this side, back and forth? Good. And then lift up your foot and tap something. If you have a friend, tap your friend's foot. Tap your animal on the ground, anything you want. All right, good job, guys. Let's take a big breath in. And out. Okay. So. Today, we're taking a little trip to the farm. We're gonna see lots of animals from my bag that live on a farm. Now, I have two animals that go together a lot in yoga. We have a cat and we have a cow. So, cat, cow, they go together and they make our spines, our backs feel really good. So, I'll put them up like this. Okay, here we go. So, let's come onto our hands and knees. First, I'll go this way. Drop your belly down like you have a big belly, right? Like a big cat belly. Look up. What do we say? Big breath in. Moo. And then look at your belly for cat. You can say meow. Do it again. Drop it down. Moo. And then you want to push through your hands. Arch your back. Meow. So good. Cat cow. That makes our bodies feel really good. All right. So we're going to put them there. And then we're going to do a pose we do all the time in yoga. I have a black and white theme going today. Downward dog pose. Okay guys, here we go. I'm gonna first face you and then turn it around. Press your hands onto your mat or carpet or ground, whatever you have. And then tuck your toes from the back 
and behind you, lift your knees off the ground, and we're coming into our downward dog. So my heels are pressing down. I'm looking at my feet. It's really important that you look at your feet. Now stay in your dog. Can you lift one leg, shake it out, shake, 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 like you have a tail. Put that leg down, lift your other leg out, <clears throat> shake, 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 shake. Good job. And then press down your heels. So good, you guys. And let's come to our knees and do puppy pose. So hands go out a little further, and then we're going to stretch back. Mm, puppy pose. All right, and then we're going to sit down, and we're going to do puppy breath. Any way we can breathe and get more oxygen in our bodies, the better. So puppy breath is just very good. Did you guys know that dogs have 300 million receptors in their nose when they smell? Humans have 5 million. So they can smell so much more than us. They're such amazing creatures. All right, let's see what else we have in here. So here is my owl. So his head is turned around because owls can almost turn their head completely around. It's amazing. So here we go. Let's come onto our feet. So we're balancing like, like your toe, like your, your owl claws are wrapping around a branch, right? Now we're going to test the balance. Look side to side. Sometimes I get wobbly and I have to put my owl wing down. So look side to side all over the room. Owls can hear really, really well. So maybe we tune in and see if we can hear what's going on in our house, right? Tune in and listen. Good. Now let's lift our owl wings up. What's an owl say? Ooh. God, let's do it one more time. Big breath in. Good job. Nice owl poses. So many different animals here. Okay, now we have another one. They say pigs are actually smarter than dogs, which is pretty amazing to think about because they're also so cute. So this is my pig pose. Now in yoga, when I do pig pose, I lay on our back and I make it happy baby, right? So that's what we're going to do today. So let's lay our head down. We're going to lay down. And we're going to come into happy baby. So my back stays down. My feet are flexed like I'm standing on the ceiling. I'm going to grab my feet. Grab your feet, your shoes, whatever you want. And then let's roll in the mud, right? Like we're pigs rolling in the mud. This is such a good pose for you guys. So breathe in. You're welcome to take oink oink or whatever kind of scenario. Just keep rolling around in happy baby. So good. And then let's roll back up. Now, you should have an animal with you. Anything that's around you that's soft, you're going to grab it. I'm going to take the pig. We are going to plow pose it behind our head, which basically means I'm going to take the pig, put it between my feet, plow pose it behind my head. Here we go. So I have to lay my head back on the ground to come all the way down. And then my pig is going to go up and over, drop it. Good. Now I'm going to feel where that animal is, and I'm going to try to pick it up. So here we go. Hopefully I can do it. Oh, I got it. And we're going to pick it back up. There you go. So that's your plow pose. Okay. So something else we see on the farm a lot are flowers, right? Lots of, lots of trees and crops maybe and flowers. So we're going to do flower pose. All right. Which one should I do first? We'll start with this one. Okay. We're going to turn into a flower, but we're going to start as a seed. So we're gonna come into what I call child's pose. All right, so you're gonna come onto your knees. My forehead's gonna go onto the ground. So we're gonna take a few breaths in child's pose. Okay, so breathe in. I want you to pretend like there's a little rain on your back and the sunshine is warm on your back and you're gonna to start to grow. So let's start to grow. Maybe we just start with an arm, something shooting up, another arm. And then we're going to keep growing, keep growing, keep going, keep going. And then we're going to turn into a flower. And there's my petal. But hold on. Let's bring our flower up with us. Here we go. So here we go. Turning into a flower. Petal. Balance. Good. Balancing is so good for our ankles. It makes your ankles strong. So if you twist them, if you balance on them a lot, they're going to recover much faster. There's our flower pose. Nice. OK. So now I want you to pretend like you have a flower like this. You know, something like you just picked, right? So a flower with a stem. Put your feet together, knees apart. Okay. So we're going to look up, lean back, take a big smell, and exhale. Now we're going to round down and smell our flower. 
even if it's just a pretend flower. It can be whatever color you want. Smell that flower. Good. And then can you lift your feet up and pretend like you just lifted the, the flower out of the ground? Try to smell it. Your sm the flower can be whatever smell you want. All right. Now, take that flower, whether you have a real one or a fake one, we're now going to plant the flower behind our head. Here we go. Plant. Plant your flower. So good, you guys. Okay. So we're going to do a pose where we go upside down. You guys can do this. You can do, um, you can do it with your, your feet, your legs on a sofa. You can find a wall to do it against. Or you can watch me, and when yoga's done, you can ask your mom or dad and say, I want to put my feet on the wall. Where should I go? And if you have a, a wall right next to you, perfect. Okay, so here we go. So we've already done our downward dog today. We're gonna do it again. So here we go. Your back goes against the wall. Take a breath in. <sighs> right, it's always good to take a breath before we do a big thing. Let's go into our downward dog. Now don't go up yet. Here's our downward dog. Downward dog, downward dog. Now I'm looking at my feet. I'm gonna put one foot up and then the next foot up. I'm looking at the wall. And if you feel super strong, one leg can go up. Place that leg, put your other leg up, good. You come down when you feel ready. You know, some people just wanna quickly put up a leg or one leg, maybe two for one second. In yoga, you do whatever feels good for your body. So your, your position looks very different from your friends and that's okay, because every body is different. So always remember that, you do what's best for you. Okay. So the other thing we always do in yoga is we lay down and we take a few breaths. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So it's not so much, we're, we're not sleeping, we're just laying down and all the hard work, work that we did settles into our body. So give yourselves a really big hug. Have your animal close by, I meant to say that. Give yourselves a really big hug for all your hard work and the amazing things that your body does. Okay, slowly, like you're melting, as slow as you can go, we're gonna lay all the way down. And you're gonna put that animal on your belly and you're gonna let everything go. So you stay laying down. I'm just gonna come up, but I want you to stay laying down. And if you notice, your breath is going up and down. So when you breathe, your belly moves. So pretend like you're rocking that animal on your belly. You're rocking it to sleep. So just try to focus on that animal going up and down, your breath going in and out, relax every other part of your body. And breathe there. You can also, if you don't have an animal, you can always put your hands on your belly, anything like that works well. So let's take a breath in together, send that animal high into the sky, big breath, and out. Take another breath with me, inhale, and exhale. And then you can stretch your arms above your head, big stretch, big stretch. And then you can hug your knees in, however you want to come. We're going to come back to a seat like this, a cross-legged seat. And at the end of yoga, we sing a namaste song. And namaste means the light in me sees the light in you, or the goodness in me sees the goodness in you. So let's put our hands together. We'll take a big breath in, and we're going to sing namaste. My little light shines to your little light, your little light, your little light. My little light shines to your little light. Namaste. Good job, you guys. I'm always going to be doing more fun videos, so please come back and practice your downward dog and your breathing, and I would love to hear more about it if you love these poses. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.